Hello everybody. You know something I don't do very much is talk about stocks. I'm a pretty big stock guy. I've been into trading, buying and selling stocks for about 13 years. And I've done real well the last couple of years with the mining shares, the different gold and silver mining companies. So I have one stock that I would like to um, mention that's worth looking at if um, if you're interested in stocks or if if you you know want to want to check out a few mining companies. There's one, and full disclosure, I I do uh, have a small position like a thousand dollars in this company it's not a huge position and I, I got in around 70 cents and it trades for dollar 98 and this is uh, great panther silver they got 10 million dollars in the bank and they're on track to produce about 2.3 million ounces this year at a cost of about six to seven dollars an ounce they have two mines in Mexico 70% silver and 23% gold. The rest is zinc and some other metal. And um, next year they're on track. They're projecting that they're going to produce about 3 million ounces and 3.8 million in 2012. And as things become more efficient, um, the cost goes down. Next year they're looking at $5 to pull an ounce of silver out of the ground and $4 the year after. Now there's a lot of risk in stocks. Uh, you know, in mining companies, especially in Mexico, with you have um, you know the problems with the drug lords and, and geopolitical issues and things with where the government may want to take some royalties on things like that. But aside from those things, you know, the higher the risk, the more the reward. So the one great thing about having mining stock um, shares in a mining company is the leverage. You know, if we'll, we'll make some easy numbers here. If uh, it costs a company ten dollars to take an ounce of silver out of the ground, and it's and silver's at twenty dollars an ounce, you know they're making ten dollars on every ounce they pull out. Now, if the share, if if uh, silver goes up by ten dollars, goes from twenty to thirty dollars an ounce, you know the physical metal you may own has gone up fifty percent. When that silver goes up ten dollars, that company, their profits have gone up a hundred percent because they're making ten dollars. You know, the the ten dollars it costs to pull it out of the ground doesn't change, and they're making ten on the other end. And then when silver goes up ten, well now they're making twenty. So, you know, their profits double, hundred percent, when the physical metal only has to go up fifty percent. So you got huge leverage by owning. Um, the miners. Now in mentioning this company, Great Panther Silver, I in no way am trying to say it's a great time to get in or anything like that. You know, it could very well drop. It's at $1.98. It could very well drop to $1.40. You know, it could drop 20%, 30%. Um, it's just something to look at because this company has great growth potential and they got 10 10 million dollars in the bank and everything's being funded by cash flow right now so you know they shouldn't have to do any dilution of the stock so it's just you know it's it's one of the better small silver companies that i've found you know there's a lot of decent silver companies now that are profitable with silver 28 dollars 